on Mars discovery, UFO crash landing and statues found on Red Planet. Alien hunters believe they have found extraterrestrial technology on Mars which could prove life exists elsewhere in the universe. UFO enthusiasts have been on the hunt for evidence of aliens for centuries, and one man believes he has finally found the proof. Conspiracy theorist Scott C. Waring has been trawling through images on Mars taken by rovers and believes he has found signs of life. One of the things Mr. Waring discovered was a supposed statue with two faces on it. Another is what appears to be a crash landing site with a ruined spaceship in it. Mr. Waring wrote on his blog UFO Settings Daily, I found a lot of unusual alien artifacts, all of which point to the existence of an intelligent, albeit unusual alien culture. One object is a face with white hair, but on closer inspection, it's not hair, but the second face built upon the first. Maybe it's a symbol of unity, ties between two great leaders to unify the people. Also there were some faces, alien tech and a crashed alien craft broken into three large parts. However, skeptics and NASA would say the skull and other similar findings are just the effects of pareidolia, a psychological phenomenon when the brain tricks the eyes into seeing familiar objects or shapes and patterns or textures such as a rock surface. This would mean that the Martian warrior skull could just be a misshapen rock. This is not the first time that evidence of aliens on Mars has been discovered. Earlier this year, an alien face was found in a NASA satellite image of Mars, according to more Bonkers claims. Mr. Waring was convinced it could be a rock carving, done by Martian race, in the same way ancient Britons carved out the chalk figures in hillsides like the giant of Serene Abbas in Dorset and the long man of Wilmington in East Sussex. However, NASA insisted the rock is just a meteorite impact crater that has been left in the unusual form by later erosion. When NASA released the image under the alien head caption, it said, the image shows an impact crater in Chrysplanitia, not too far from the Viking 1 lander site, that this seems to resemble a bug guide head. The two odd depressions at the north end of the crater, the eyes, may have formed by wind or water erosion. This region has been modified by both processes, with water action occurring in the distant past via floods that poured across western Kreis Planitia from Maja Vales, and wind action common occurrence in more recent history, 